Hello all you Facebookers, YouTubers, Tweeters out there, and all you coffee fanatics. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mr. Coffee Review. I am your host, Mr. Coffee. We are jumping straight into this video today. This is part four of four videos for my Christmas special series, and we are reviewing the Mocha flavored Kahlua coffee. So it has on here on the side something that I can read. It says Kahlua coffee liqueur combines the delicious notes of rum, vanilla, and caramel wrapped in roasted coffee flavor from hand-picked Arabica beans. Our Kahlua mocha coffee uses 100% Arabica beans which are carefully washed, screened, and prepared to ensure a bold, lively flavor. Enjoy a truly unforgettable taste experience with this rich and smooth roast. I'm not a big fan of mocha, but it is pretty good. I do like this. Let's uh, get a smell of this before it has been brewed. Okay, right off the bat, very strong uh, chocolate uh, scent coming through. Of course, very much like a mocha should be. Very little coffee scent. A little bit of that rum coming through. But it's predominantly cocoa. Very good scent coming through. Alright, so today I am drinking from a Lennox coffee mug. This, and this is a Christmas one in honor of the Christmas season. Um... This Linux is a fine, a fine China coffee mug. This is something that my uncle had given to us a, a few Christmases ago. I'm not sure how many years back. And we're just now actually opening this up and using it. I've used this cup already, of course, in my last video. This is a very good coffee cup. So let's get a smell of this before it has, I mean, after it has been brewed. Okay, very, that uh, cocoa smell has maintained throughout the brewing session. Now, with the kind of coffee co uh, coffee brew that I am using, it is an automatic drip coffee. I'm not exactly sure what the difference would be if I would, were to use a percolator. I'm sure it would taste a lot better. Um, but that will have to be something I experiment, experiment with. So let's get a taste of this, and I will swish it around my mouth and get a full sensation of that body and check all the flavors that it has. That mocha flavor is consistent. It's consistent in smell and consistent in flavor, both brewing and after. Of course, you can't, well, you could eat the coffee, but before it has been brewed, but, you know, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, that uh, mocha is staying pretty consistent. Almost a walnut-like flavor coming through on the finish here, and a mixture of walnut, almond, and pecan coming through. A little bit on the bitter side, actually. I'm not big for bitter coffees at all. Mochas do tend to be pretty bitter. Not pretty bitter, but they do tend to be a little bit bitter. But if that's a kind of coffee that you like, I do highly recommend going and checking it out. I can also pick up a little bit of that rum flavoring coming through, a little bit of that syrupy sweetness, a little bit of coffee flavoring as well, but nothing much else on that. Alright, so let's get into this ratings here. For package design, I am going to give this a 10 out of 10 design. For package design, it's pretty neat design, of course, like all the other packages that I've shown you, it has that kind of Arabic looking design on it. Pretty cool looking. 
So I'll give that a 10 out of 10. Now, as far as flavor, taste, and aroma, I'm really not a big fan of mocha at all. I really don't like it. So I'll give that about a 7 out of 10. Now, of course, this is an opinion-based video. All my videos are opinion-based. So if you are a mocha fan, you know, it'll be right up your alley. But I really don't like mocha. It's not my favorite. But I do review mochas and all the other different flavors for the sole purpose of the coffee review channel so that's it for this video if you have any comments or questions please let me know down here below in the comments section thank you for watching my video if you have please click like subscribe and share the news with all your friends out there about my channel um, if there are any coffees that you would like to see me review or tease, please let me know in the comment section below. Please tell me what coffee it is, who makes it, what's the brand, what name is on the package, what stores normally sell it. Uh, pr I would pref prefer to stick to the Midlothian Richmond City area. Um, just for convenience purposes. Now if it is online please let me know what website it is so I can go look at it and order it. So that's all for this video. I will see you all on the next one. Later.